In this episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about the gear that I use every day. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelier. I'm a French photographer living in the amazing, the incroyable city of Paris, France. But right now, I am in Mexico, a beautiful country. I'm doing fine art photography for Yellow Corner. I do two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw files of all the past episodes, including amazing Photoshop actions, presets, over 200 raw files from all over the world. And click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the gears that I use as a photographer, how I shift from Canon to Sony, how I still use this Canon, how I use Sony, you know, what kind of cameras you sh I think you should buy if you're just starting, you know, if you want to go more pro, what kind of lens you should buy. This is all on my gear page here on my website, and I'm going to go over it with you in details. So here is my day-to-day -day gear. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So today I did not want to do tutorials because I'm traveling in Mexico to do some fine art prints for galleries and also maybe a book on Mexico. But uh, there is something that a lot of people have been asking me for a very long time, which is like, what gear should I buy when I start photography or what lens do you recommend for landscape, etc. So I, I've been using gears for a very, very long time. Uh, I've been a Canon shooter for a long time, and now I'm more a, a Sony shooter. I know this may create some upset with people which love Canon, and I still love Canon, but there is a few features that the Sony A7R for the type of job that I do that I find is, um, is really priceless. So the way it works is uh, on my website, photosearch.com, you've got a page called My Gear. If you go on this page, uh, you have basically really what I use. So it started off with the cameras. I just went into the camera body, so you got this 5D Mark III, 5D Mark II, and Sony A7R. When I do studio work, I use a lot the 5D Mark III or the 5D Mark II, or the 6D or 7D. I've got many Canon cameras, but what I recommend today is the 7D Mark II and the 5D Mark III, which are the two best on Canon. And believe me, they make really good cameras. The thing is, I travel a lot and I do a lot of landscape you know, I'm in Mexico, next week I'm in New York, and then I'm going to San Francisco, and then back to Paris, and then I have to tour all over Europe. So I, I want to travel as light as possible. And that's why I'm using the Sony A7R, because it's very light, it's cheaper than these other Canon cameras, and it's, um, it's got an amazing dynamic range. Like for what I do, uh, for sunsets and sunrises, I get more details than the 5D Mark III. But that's just me. But then you have a plug-in software that I use. I use a lot. Topaz, uh, I, I use LR time lapse, which is amazing for doing time lapse. Check it out if you get a chance. I love the MacFun products, especially for black and white. Right now I'm doing two books, one on Paris, one on New York. It's over 120 photos, and all of them I'm doing with MacFun. I used to use Silver FX Pro, which I loved a lot from Google. Um, from Google now, big from Nick Software, but it's been bought by Google. But now I only use. Um, MacFun products because it's got uh, more, uh, how can I say this, more ability to create contrast in certain areas than the, just the clarity slider in Nick software. For those who knows the Nick software, you got to check out my tutorials here on MacFun. You will see, uh, you can just type search remedy MacFun or on, on, on YouTube and you will see all my free tutorials on it. I also use Photomatics sometimes when I do HDR. It's the reference of HDR in the world. So. Then you have my portfolio and some um, Squarespace. I also use Squarespace for my website. You know, I always tell people um, when you make your website, and that's the mistake I see over and over and over and over again. People have made put too many people. If you want to be a professional photographer, uh, you know, have four or five sections of things that you know how to do: portraits, landscape, urban, you know, uh, nude, whatever it is. But put like 10, 15 photos per section each, not more and put the best of the best of the best. If you have two photos in there, which are kind of like not super professional, or you're not really happy about it, you better take them out. I only have five amazing photos uh, because this is how it, I've spoken to many professional photographers internationally. And this is one of the key things, a professional photographer, look at Scott Kelby, look at Joel Grimms, look at Eric Almas. They just have the top of the top of their work on their website and nothing else. So. Okay, uh, cleaning gear, that's always important, especially uh, when you change a level of lenses. So uh, when you clean your sensor, one thing that is super, super important, and this is something I've been doing it for years, like I was cleaning my sensor just using this uh, hair blaster, which is really cool, or this little visible dust. 
but I, I, I couldn't see exactly what I was doing. And if you buy this little $20 LED cleaning loop for camera, what it's going to do is gonna, it's, it's, a, it's basically it's a loop. It's going to zoom in so you can see your sensor and there is a light inside. So you will be able to see if you have dust and if what you did with the rock blaster or the cleaning kit did something or not. So cleaning a sensor without that device is, for my experience, not possible. This is the filters that I use the most, and this is the one I recommend. Uh, I tried to, uh, I tried very expensive filters and less expensive filters. This one's worked fine for me. Uh, I will add some more filters right now. This is just a first try. Now this is a, this is a cool thing. If you're just getting to photography, I recommend uh, Canon is great to start in photography, and this is my Canon start kit to, to go, because. For example, you start off with the, um, the Rebel T5, which is a great camera. It's only a $500 camera. And then the, the first lens I recommend is the 50mm 1.8, which is only $125. Okay, and this tripod, which is $139, the Mifoto tripod is amazing. I bought seven tripods in my life until I bought the Gizzo tripods, $800. I love it. I still use it to this day. However, nobody, not sorry, not everybody can put $800 in a tripod. And this one is almost as good for $139. Oh, one thing is for every item you see here, you have a, you can click on the Amazon and the Bean Edge. And if you do click here uh, to purchase something, uh, it helps support, I get a commission on it, and it helps support all the free stuff that I do. So please, anytime you have to buy something in Bean Edge and Amazon, if you like what I do, use this page. Uh, even if you don't buy this, I still get the commission of what you're already gonna buy. It's called Affiliates and I do it with them and it really helps uh, financing all the free stuff that I do every week. Okay, that's another filter that, uh, that I recommend. That's really the first one to start with uh, because it's an ND filter. It's really the most useful. That's really when you can do long exposure, you know, in the end of afternoon when it's not again, when it's not yet too dark for long exposure. So, and um, yeah, basically that's all the gear. If you're just starting photography, this is really what I would recommend because you can make awesome portraits with that 50 meter 1.8. Not close up, but you know, mid-sized portraits, which are awesome. And with this one, you can still make some decent landscape. And you can even use this one, the 50 millimeter, to make panoramas. I do that a lot because I find the 50 millimeter is very sharp. So I take, I have the one four, but it's the one eight was cool. You know, it's very cheap. And this is a starter kit. You know, it's not a, it's not a, it's not the, uh, the pro kit. It's just, you're just starting photography. The Sony route. Now, if you want to follow me in the Sony route, well, I re really recommend the Sony A7R if you're into. Uh, landscape and harbor landscape and that's uh, that's the mount where you can use canon lenses or you have mounts on amazon if you click here you'll see there is other mounts for nikon lenses and, and everything like this and then um, actually the first lens i really if there's only one lens you want to buy for the sony it's this one the 2470 f4 for landscape is amazing it is so sharp i'm in love this is a mistake it's canon speed light should not be here but above and um, that's, the, that's the tripod I, uh, I recommend. That's the one I have. It's now only $655. $655. I bought mine, I think, eight years ago, uh, and it was $800 at the time. Okay, uh, this is really cool. So the, the really right stuff, BH30, a lot of photographers use that. I love that ball head. So if you have this and the Gizzo, you have the best of the best, to my knowledge. This is only my viewpoint. This is my website. All right, this is the L plate, really important uh, to uh, use with the BH, the BH30. You can even put the BH30 on, on that tripod, on, on this tripod, the Mi Photo tripod, which is amazing because I don't like so much their system of uh, the bullet that they have. It's not bad, but it's, there is three buttons. I don't, I hate when there's three buttons. I love them, it's just one button like this. You know, you just unscrew, position your photo and screw back, that's it. This is a good Sony uh, 94. This one is really good for uh, for video. It's very good for uh, sport photography. This is a good card for $24. That's what I recommend. This is my famous portrait composite gear. That's the gear that I use, exactly that gear that I use uh, to make all the portraits I, I showed you on my last course, which you will see a trailer at the end of this um, of this little podcast. And it's uh, it's only $300, and you can make amazing, amazing portrait. If you master this this gear, Plus the course that I gave you, uh, you can really do some nice, nice photography and, and get hired for quite some money if you start being a, a, a strong portfolio on this. Okay, now this is my Canon Pro, Pro Kit. Uh, you know, I do a lot of landscape and I do a lot of interior design. And for many years, I've used the um, 1740 from Canon. 
But then I discovered that Sigma 1835 1.8, and that, that camera is amazing because I've used it to shoot landscape during the night by hand in San Francisco at two o'clock in the morning at ISO 800, and I was amazed. So this, this is really a nice lens. This lens, I find it really nice. That's the 50mm 1.4, that's the one I'm using now. If you have a bit more money, it's a really nice one. 85mm 1.8, amazing for portraits. Uh, this one, uh, the 100 is amazing for macro. And the 2470 is like the go-to lens for, uh, you know, sort of uh, everyday thing. So that's more like the Canon Pro things that I recommend with the 5D Mark III, of course. Uh, the 7200 to 8, obviously. Uh, but this one is a very expensive lens. But this is an amazing for portraits and the speed lights. But, you know, you can, if you don't want to spend $249 on the flash, go ahead and buy this one for... Um, for $71, it is as good. It is as good. I I love this flash. Scott Kelby got me to this flash and I couldn't believe it. It's like, oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, and this is a more expensive, more professional camera, um, uh, compact flash, I believe. It's a bit more expensive if you're doing, uh, you know, lots of videos. Anyway, so that's, I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, you know, uh, better this, you know, add some, as I buy things, I will add it here. I, prob I probably forgot a couple of things, but I'm just throwing it there. Uh, I hope this will give you some um, some ideas of what to buy or, or what you need, and uh, yeah, and uh, and voila. So now I'm going to show you a little trailer that I did last week with my new portrait composite course. It's uh, one of the course that I like the most, and uh, and I love the final results. And my whole idea of this course, because there's a lot of very high end course like this on the web where you can learn learn to make stuff of the way, but they are very long with very expensive gear. I wanted to make something with very cheap gear and to do the minimum Photoshop possible. That was my purpose, the minimum retouching possible, the most simple possible to get the best result possible. Here is the full trailer of this course. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm very excited to announce that I have a new course coming out called Portrait Composite Course. I've been dreaming about doing this course for a very long time. The whole idea is to make portraits, environmental type portraits, where it is a portrait and a landscape at the same time. What we try to do is find the cheapest gears on the planet to do it. So we found the entire gear for about $300 with flashes and we did five projects. Project number one that we'll call the producer. We shot this amazing Hollywood producer over the Hollywood downtown area. And we shot him first with a flash and then took the landscape and mixed both. That's the final result. We then did two projects with a cowboy. That's the first shoot under a tree. Same thing, you will get the full behind the scene, you'll get the raw files, you'll get all the retouching and that's the final result. Then we did like a more ranch type looking shoot. That's the final result. Same thing, you get the raw files. It was all done with the $300 gears and nothing else. Finally, we go to Man Man TV show type of shoot. We shot my buddy Calvin, which we dressed up like Don Draper in uh, uh, the TV show Man Man, and we first shot him in a restaurant. Now that was a very, very challenging photo. Completely backlit, very hard. You will get all the behind the scenes, all the raw files, all the retouching videos. That's the final result. And then we did a little Cadillac shoot, very like 60s looking. That's the final result. So in all, you've got five projects. This type of photography is really what is being looked today by big brands. And you can get started with it with very little money. So I hope you check it out, my portrait composite course. I've put all my heart into it and I hope you will love it.